Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with another Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about the SMS notification. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is log into our website, of course. You're then going to go to the switchboard tab on the left hand side of the screen. You'll, of course, want to enter the switchboard in question that you're wanting to add that object to. Now, once you're in the switchboard, you're going to find the SMS object in this white banner right here towards the top of the screen. Now this object is going to show as usable for everyone, but unless you actually have the Mango Plus, it's not going to work for you. So make sure you have Mango Plus before you try and use this object. If you're interested in Mango Plus, please give us a call. It enables the texting feature with your phone system. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this SMS notification here. Now you have several message types. So if you click this drop down menu here, you can select missed call, incoming call, voicemail, or custom. Now these first three here are all going to show you a text that is that we have built out the macro for. So we have a missed call from the caller ID, which is going to tell you, you know, Mango called you, as well as the number that they called you from. And it's gonna send you that in text form. Uh, you can do the same thing with an incoming call. The only thing that changes is, you know, incoming instead of missed. And then you have one for voicemail, as well. So that's what those three are going to do for you. Now the custom message is whatever you want it to be. You can go ahead and create the text message that you'd like to see. You're limited to 160 characters with one object. If one object isn't enough to get your message across, you can of course include two and just connect them. Now these objects are going to go off when the caller reaches those objects. So for example, if we put together a brief switchboard here, we can go ahead and put in a transfer and continue here. And we can connect the switchboard to that transfer and continue, which as we all should know, rings your phones. So if no one answers, we can then hit this SMS notification. So if no one answers those phones, it then hits this object, which is then going to send you that text notification. So we can go ahead and put our message in here. Now that we have our message in there, we need to decide what we're going to do with that text message. So we can set up an SMS recipient. That means that the text message is going to be received by the number that we put in here. So we can put in a phone number. Now for this particular message here, I don't wanna send this to the same person every time. I want this to be sent to my caller and it's going to be received by the caller. So they're gonna get this message here once I'm unable to answer that call. Now, our other SMS notification over here, since I was able to fit my whole message in there, I'm gonna do missed call. And then I'm going to connect those two, and this is where I want to send the message to every time. So it's gonna notify me every time I miss a call via text message. We can, of course, minimize these so they don't take up as much space in our switchboard here. Drag them down here. And then we're gonna finish off that with our leave voicemail. And that's all it takes to use the SMS notification. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.